Hey everybody. I had to go do a little grocery shopping earlier. Uh, I've got a storm coming in and it boggles my mind watching people shop before like a storm comes in. You think they they've never had food before. It's <laughs> It's unreal. Now, we're supposed to get, and it's going to get a little messy out there. We're supposed to get, like, anywhere from up to a half inch of ice, maybe some rain and sleet and, you know, freezing rain, and then maybe, like, three to eight inches of snow on top of all that. So it's going to get, it's going to be nasty out there for a little bit. But it's going to be nasty out there for a little bit. Okay, you don't need to doomsday prep. You don't need to get into a shoving match, which I saw over the boxes of rice for your house. You don't need to do that. I saw a guy that had three cases of beer and two heads of lettuce. And that was it. I don't know what that what that means. If that's what your staples are to get you through the winter storm is that you have to have something to graze on and then wash it down with all your beer. You either need to go to the store more often or maybe rehab occasionally. It It's just un it's, they lose the concept of time like they don't understand how long yeah you're going to be in there for a couple of days but it's going to be a couple of days there was a woman that i saw get into an argument with her husband an argument that involved profanity because of the size of the cereal boxes because she wanted to buy the super family size box of this cereal and Walmart was sold out of them. And so she looked at her husband in much more of a panic than she probably should have been and she was like, well now what do we do? And the husband in his bout of uh, intelligence looked at her and he said, well I don't know, maybe we'll just buy two of the smaller boxes. And you would have thought that he called her a name and slapped her in the face with the look she gave him. And she started cussing in a very loud volume. And she goes, oh, so now I'm supposed to have to buy two smaller boxes that's probably going to cost more money. And then she said this. She goes, and that's how they get you. Is it? Is that how they get you, lady? Is that how Walmart, the most successful store in the history of the world, get you? I don't think they're basing the success of their store on whether you can find or can't find a box of refrigerator-sized Honey Nut Cheerios. That's how they get you. I don't know what you're going to wash that down with because apparently the other guy bought all the beer, so you're probably in a lot of trouble. But anyway, use a little common sense. Get, you, uh, get through the storm. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.